integers. Subtract integers with counters. I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will explain you how to use counters to subtract integers. We have four different questions here. I like you to pause the video, copy them and then solve as I explain. Part A is plus 5 minus minus 3, B is minus 4 minus plus 3, C is 0 minus minus 3, and D is minus 4 minus minus 7. Now let us see how to subtract integers with counters. Let's start with part A, which is plus 5 minus minus 3. Plus 5 means positive 5 counters. Let me make positive 5 counters. This is 1. 2, 3, 4, and 5. So these are my plus 5 counters. Now from this group, I have to take away 3 negative counters. Well, let me first draw the 3 negative counters. So it's 1 negative, 2 negative, and 3 negative. But as you can see, we really don't have any negative counters on the left side. So we cannot take away negative counters. You see that? So what we can do is we can add some zeros. Zeros mean combination of plus and minus. So if I make like this plus and minus, it is basically a zero, right? Another plus and minus means another zero. How many zeros do I need? I need three zeros, right? Since I have to take away three negatives. So these are my three zeros. Do you see that? These are we have added three zeros. Combination of plus and minus is a zero. So that is the trick involved. Once you add your zeros, you get the negative counters also on the left side. And now you can take away. So let us take away three negative counters from each, right? So that goes, this also goes, this also goes. So once you take away three negative counters, you are left with your answer. So what is the answer? Answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And these are plus 8, 8 positive counters. Do you see that? That is how we get our result. Let's do the same trick on the second question. This time, we have to take away positive 3 from minus 4, right? That is a better way of reading this equation. We have to take away positive 3 from minus 4. Let us draw counters to represent this situation. We call it modeling. So let's model. Minus 4 means 4 negative counters. Okay, 1, 2, 3 and 4. From here we have to take away positive 3. So these are our positive 3. But as you know, we do not have positive counters on the left side. What should we do? Add zeros, correct? Let's add zeros. How many? Three zeros, right? So zeros are combination of plus and minus. So these are the counters which I'm adding. Combination of plus and minus. You see that? Once you add zeros, you have both kind, negative and positive on the left. So you can take away positive counters. Let us take away one by one, right? So take away the positive counters, positive three. What are you left with? The answer. The answer is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Negative seven, since these are all negative counters. I hope you understand the steps. Now let's do this part C. We have to take away negative three from zero from nothing okay so we do not have any counters here but we have to take away negative three let's make negative three counters these are my negative three counters since we have to take from zero what we should do is we can add three more zeros here well three zeros will be combination of plus and minus so that is plus minus one zero second zero and the third zero from these three zeros, we can take away three negative. Let's take away one by one. What are we left with? We are left with the answer, which is plus three, right? So plus three, 
is what you get when you take away 3 minus from 0. Do you see that? So what you find is that this negative negative makes it positive, right? Here also negative negative makes it positive, so it becomes 5 plus 3 as 8. Correct? Right? Let's do the last one. Minus 4 means minus 4 counters. Here we are. And minus 7 means minus 7 counters. These are 4 and 3 more. That gives me minus 7 counters. Now, in this particular case, we can take away at least 4, right? Let's take away 4. But we don't have anything to take away these 3. What should we do now? Well, let us add zeros, right? So let's add three zeros to this situation. So if you add zeros, you get combinations of plus and minus. Three of them we need to take away these three, right? So these are my three zeros, right? Now let's take away the remaining three, one by one. What are we left with? Plus three. So plus 3 is our answer in this particular case. I, I hope you understand these steps. How to subtract integers with counters. The principle involved here is to add zeros, right? So here we should add zeros. What is a zero? Zero is a combination of plus and minus counters. Do you see that? That is a zero which we can add. And then it helps to take away. So that is the principle behind subtracting integers with counters. I hope the process is clear to you. We'll explore more. Thank you and all the best.